you're watching this video, then you probably have thought about leaving California. If you have already decided to leave California, well then good for you if you did the latter part. Well, welcome. My name is KG and like you, we have moved out of California to Kansas. But before I begin, please don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. I hope this video helps you decide whether you should move out of Cali. If you need more help figuring out whether it is for you to move out of Cali, then check out my videos on my channel. Firstly, I just want to talk about what was our primary motivation to move out of California. For us, my husband's family lives here in Kansas, so we moved here to be closer to them and so my son could be closer to his cousins and grow up with them. Secondary reasons why we moved out of Cali is because of course we wanted a better quality of life, we wanted a slower pace, we wanted a good work to life balance. So the first thing you really need to ask yourself is what is your motivation to leave California? How are you going to move your stuff from Cali out of state? Of course you can hire movers, professional movers, and you know that comes with a cost. We decided to go with the pods because we knew we were going to save with using pods moving cross country. And I'll let you know how much we ended up paying pods in a little bit. Aside from the fact that pods was cheaper for us to go with, we knew we were going to move twice and we didn't want to move our stuff twice and if you are planning to do the same thing the smartest thing to do would be to put your stuff in pods so what we did was we put six months of our stuff that we were going to use in the apartment towards the end of the pod so right when you open your pods your stuff is right there nice thing about packing your own stuff is while you're packing your stuff you can purge stuff out that you don't need so let's get to the good stuff how does pods really work you can communicate with them and let them know when you want your pods container dropped off in front of your garage um, they're pretty good at asking you where you want it which side so you can access it better of course you can communicate which date you want it dropped off so you can clear out your driveway you can make sure that nobody's parking in front of your house so basically once you've loaded your pods up you can ask them to pick it up and they'll store it for you until the day they transport your container to where you're going. So now what happens to your stuff? So after they transport it, for us it was here in Kansas, there was a Kansas pod storage here, then it stays there until you would like to access your pod. So you actually get one free access to your storage monthly and it's not like a regular storage where you can find your storage and start opening your storage it doesn't work that way you have to call them and let them know when you need access to your storage and they will pull it out of the rooms and um, leave it out for you so you can access your storage so the other point i would like to discuss today is how stressful can moving cross country be if you're moving to a new state you're probably trying to sell your house in california and if you're moving to another state, you'll have to have your jobs lined up, where you want to live, where your kids can go to school, if the schools are good. I mean, all these things you have to deal with on top of trying to change your mailing address 50,000 times. Of course, on top of this, you have to worry about the costs of moving and the long drive to where you're headed to. So again, I highly suggest that you make this drive a little bit more fun by stopping at places that you would like to see. Finally, let's talk about the cost of moving. If you want to hire movers, I researched the cost for you. Moving is actually seasonal. If you move during the lower season, it will probably cost you around $3,800 to $6,500. And if you were moving during the spring or summertime when it is the higher season of moving then it might cost you around six two hundred to ten thousand and three hundred dollars again this is depending on the size of your home and how far you're going out of california if you want a full and honest review of using a pods container then please subscribe to my channel i'll post one very soon so even when i said that the pods container was cheaper for us by no means was it actually cheap okay so right when they drop off that pods container in front of your driveway they're already billing you for a drop-off fee on top of this you also start getting billed for your monthly rental fee for us we actually rented a 16 foot container 
and it doesn't seem that big but it's actually their biggest one and that's what they recommend for a house around 1500 square feet for the size of our house which was around 1800 square feet they actually recommended for us to have two of those 16 foot containers or a 16 foot container and a seven foot container but we didn't want to have the cost so we ended up just getting one 16 foot container and that way we would save money let's get down to numbers the empty container drop-off it was actually around 166 dollars and this was the drop-off in california when they dropped off the container here it was 140 dollars i don't know why there's a little difference maybe it depends on the state where you live in rental for our container which was a 16 foot container was actually around 240 dollars we had a promo giving us a discount of 50 dollars per month which um, after taxes we ended up paying 205 a month there were also a few added fees that was on our invoice also there was a transit protection fee and that was another $50. The moment they drop off your container in front of your house, you're probably gonna end up paying around $500. So if I were you, I would make sure that all your stuff are pretty much boxed and ready to go. So once they drop off your pod in front of your driveway, then you can just start loading your stuff, hence saving you money by saving you time. Once you're done putting your stuff in the container, you can ask them to pick it up off of your driveway and then they can store it in their storage facility in California near where you are so you can access it still until you let them know when you're planning on leaving the state. So for us, they started transporting our container days before we actually left the state. So by the time we got to Kansas, we will have access to those stuff. So the amount we paid was around 2811 and that's for the transportation fee from California to Kansas and that is depending on the mileage again so if you're moving to Texas or you're moving to Colorado it will be a different amount than what they build us but on top of the $500 drop-off fee in the beginning with the storage fee uh, we had to pay 2800 to transport our container from California to Kansas. The pickup fee is around $140 for us here in Kansas. If you don't want your stuff yet, you will have to have them store your container in one of their warehouses near you. And for us, like I said, we ended up paying $205 after taxes, and that's with a discount because they were holding on to our stuff for more than three months or six months i can't remember but it was discounted so make sure when you call the pods people ask for a promo or ask for any kind of discount so you can save some money so if we didn't have to use the storage for six to eight months here in kansas we would have probably just paid around 3500 for the full move of the pods even with the storage fee monthly i think we still save a little bit more money so there you go folks that's how much we spent i hope that you will save even more money than us again i will do a final review of the pod soon here be blessed i hope your move will be just as fun as ours and be stress-free thank you bye bye guys